put another little candle here and that's actually like just so that I can easily light these two matches and do the candles in my uh, oil burner. So I will not be uh, casting a circle since this is not a sacred ritual uh, because I'm doing it for you guys. Otherwise I would cast a circle and invoke the, well not invoke, call the elements to the circle and have them guard it. But since we're not going to be doing that, I'm just going to start off from where you would as soon as the elements are protecting the circle. So what I'm going to do is I'm first going to light these candles. And this symbolizes the beginning of the ritual. And then I have my oils down here that I can add to the essential oil burner. I'm just going to blow this out. I need that. And I'm going to be using two essential oils this time around. This is grapefruit. And that's going to be a few drops in the center. Then I'm going to have lime. And that's going to be an outer ring. There we go. And then I'm going to start the tea light up. Oops. There we go. Hopefully that did not blow out on me. I'll start to get that scent going. All right. So now we're going to call the goddess to the circle because this is her ritual. So I also added a bell to this because it was necessary. time of the full moon. The goddess in her full moon aspect as the mother. She gives birth to all and is the mother of all. We are her children, her sacred and her divine children. May she watch out over us in this rite. Hail Demeter, goddess of the earth and of the moon. Give us our sacred fem feminine energy and come into us as a power of mind, a power of spirit, and a power of earth. Right now, I'm just going to set my offering onto the plate that I have ready along with my offertory candle. So I'm just going to sprinkle that around. Now 
I'm going to consecrate it to this water. Blessed be this creature of salt, of water, the water that comes from the womb of the goddess, and is a drink of life for all who live. Blessed be this creature of salt, the body of the goddess, and what cleanses and purifies the world around us. Now I'm just going to add just a few to the salt of the water. And this is a blend of uh, sea salt and Himalayan salt. Now I'm just going to use my finger, my index finger of my right hand, to stir clockwise or diazel into the water just to kind of mix the salt up. Just dip, gently dip all of my fingers into the water. And I'm going to touch my forehead, my third eye, touch my lips. Touch both breasts, my womb, both of my knees. both of my feet. And this is a kind of uh, different take on the fivefold kiss. I added the third eye since the goddess is where our psychic powers come from. And <laughs> I'm just incorporating that into the fivefold kiss. It's actually a sixfold kiss. And this is anything, you can do this anytime you want, and it's a solitary, solitary thing. So you don't need another person kissing your, your feet, your knees, your womb, your breasts, and your lips. So there you go. And now we're going to boil up the candle in the center. Now this one has a application stick on it, so I can just easily just rub it. Around. And I will just use my fingers to kind of Evenly. Watch my fingers miss. Now I'm really starting to smell the grapefruit and lime now. I believe in you, O oh goddess of goddesses, that you are the eternal mother of life. I believe, O oh goddess of all goddesses, that you are the eternal mother of love. And 
and at this point you would meditate or you would invoke the goddess into your body and hear any sort of message that she had to say to you, any intention, any uh, path that she wants you to follow. So you would ask, for instance, what is my current goal in life? Uh, what should I be focusing on? What is my key word for this month? And she could say, like, your key word is uh, honor or respect or animal, even. And you can, and you can uh, interpret that in your own words. Don't go asking people online because message, she says the word specifically knowing that you will come up with the correct interpretation of it on your own. So, and after the meditation, uh, you could continue from here and do any sort of spell work. Uh, the full moon is very good for empowerment, for really powerful spells or rituals that you want to do. Uh, blessings, it's also, they're also good for uh, cleansing your room, cleansing your house, your body, anything like that. So you can do that, no problem at all. And if you have any sort of edible uh, offering or your drink, then this is when you would uh, end the circle and then bring it outside to uh, dump it into the grass or just on your lawn or even on your balcony if you live on in an apartment. So I just have a small little section that I want to say specifically for this ritual. So I'm just starting to incorporate it into my my moon rituals that I say this. So I'm just trying to get it locked into my brain. I'm, I am giving you worship of my whole life. I am giving you consent of my whole power. I am giving you praise with my whole tongue. I am giving you honor with my whole utterance. I am giving you reverence with my whole understanding. I am giving you offering with my whole thought. I, being, I am giving you praise with my whole body. I am giving you love with my whole devotion. I am giving you pleasure with my whole desire. I am giving you love with my whole heart. I am giving you affection with my whole sense. I am giving you existence with my whole mind. I am giving you my soul, O goddess of the universe. And so with this, you would thank her Thank you, O oh Goddess, for attending my circle, attending my ritual and honorance to you. I thank you for your power and your wisdom and your strength. And I wish for you to return to me once more in every ritual to come. Guide me on my path, O oh Goddess. Demeter, loving one of the animals, the earth, the and of the people. Amen. And then I would continue to let my essential oil burn. It's just a way to cleanse the area keep the energy flowing for whatever intention that you've had during this ritual. And that's everything. I will have to cut this up since I'm going out over 15 minutes, but that's okay. I'll see you guys later.